Katie Lee is many things – a popular chef, television personality, cookbook author, and more. What turned this West Virginia native into the TV star that she is today? Here are the details on the stunning transformation of Chef Katie Lee. Katie Lee grew up in a small town amidst a large family in Milton, West Virginia. Her great-grandmother, grandparents, great-aunt and uncle all lived on the same street. Out of all the members of her family, it was her grandmother, Dora, who was her biggest influence. As Lee said in her heartwarming eulogy for Dora on Instagram, she taught me how to cook, the idea of balance, to be strong, and she had an unparalleled sense of humor. Lee was just a toddler when she became sous chef to her grandma. She remembers making biscuits with her at the crack of dawn, telling the Huntington Quarterly, I would get so upset if she started on the dough before I woke up, I would make her start over so that I could help. Biscuits were the first thing I ever made, so I guess, technically, I started cooking at the age of three. Growing up, Lee learned the farm-to-table concept up close when her grandma would cook whatever her grandpa brought from the farm that day. This practice has stayed with her through the years, as she told the Charleston Gazette Mail, When I go to the farm stand and see what's available, that's where I get most of my inspiration. My grandma taught me that if you had the best ingredients, you really didn't need to do much to them. All through her school years, Lee showed little enthusiasm towards any sports events, telling the Huntington Quarterly, I was never athletic. I tried everything, but I just wasn't good. Reading and writing were things I really enjoyed, though. I always had my nose in a book. When she wasn't binging on books, Lee was perfecting her beef stroganoff. Little did Lee know then that her beef stroganoff would one day be featured on The Rachel Ray Show. Cooking was never a professional career option for Lee. She did it because it was the most natural thing to do, saying, Food was a big part of my life, but I never thought that was anything special. But when she moved out of her home and began college, she realized that not all were as passionate about food as she was, saying, I couldn't believe it. I just assumed everyone liked to cook as much as I did. Lee double majored in journalism and English at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, while also taking a few classes on food science. Thanks to her one semester abroad in Italy, she got a peek into the rich culinary culture of Tuscany. After graduating from college in 2003, Lee never worked in the field of journalism, but instead went into cooking. So why didn't Lee pursue culinary studies in the first place? She told the Associated Press, I never thought I could make a career out of cooking. I thought unless you open a restaurant, there really wasn't anything else you could do. Her first job fresh out of college was as a fishmonger at Jeff and Eddie's, a restaurant and fish market in the Hamptons. Meanwhile, she, along with a friend, launched a website called Olive and Peach that aimed at making people more aware of the food they consume. A chance meeting with rock star Billy Joel changed Katie Lee's life. She and a friend were hanging out at the rooftop bar of the Peninsula Hotel in New York when her night took a turn, saying, I am coming out of the bathroom, and who do I almost bump into but Billy Joel? Lee didn't swoon, she hardly knew his musical repertoire, but by the end of the night, another date was sealed. We had this great dinner, yeah. and we had pasta and white truffles, and you know, he was really trying to impress me. Joel even treated her to a performance at his Broadway show, Movin' Out. Following that high-octane night, the duo started dating and eventually got married a year later in 2004. Joel turned out to be Lee's lucky charm. As soon as Katie Lee became Katie Joel, a flood of opportunities came her way. She told New York Magazine, I'm the first person to say having that last name helped me get a foot in the door, but I feel like I can stand on my own two feet working toward my dreams. Katie Lee stepped into the television industry as the host of the then brand new reality cooking show Top Chef. At the time, she was still green in the culinary scene and Top Chef was a concept that no one had heard of. No one knew what to expect from the series or the host, but it turned out that the show was a roaring success. But after the first season, Lee was replaced by the more experienced television personality, author and chef Padma Lakshmi. A welcome change for some viewers who weren't fans of Lee's hosting style. Since then, she has established her presence in the world of reality television, appearing as a judge on a number of other cooking shows. Lee's marriage with superstar Billy Joel lost all its twinkle in five years. The two divorced in 2009, a split that went so amicably that Lee has complimented him as being the, quote, best ex-husband a girl could ever ask for. According to New York Post, there were rumors that the two split because of Lee's alleged affair with Israeli designer Egal Azarel. 
but according to Lee, it wasn't as dramatic as the media reported. Between both of our careers, we started to grow apart and were unable to find a way back to each other. The divorce was tough on Lee, given how it all unraveled in the public eye. She found healing in a sport that was quite strange to her at the time, surfing. Lee had a fear of the ocean when she first began surfing, but wanted to try something different during the difficult time in her life and was ultimately happy she did. If you try something new and conquer a fear, it brings you this whole new sense of confidence. Surfing didn't just help Katie Lee heal, it also pushed her to branch out as a fiction writer. With her background, Lee had the skills, not to mention the years-long intention to pen a novel. But she didn't do it because she often limited herself, thinking that the book had to be about food. Surfing had changed her as a person. She was no longer scared to try something new. As a result, she found herself writing a story inspired by her own life. How did Joel react to it? Lee told Hollywood Life, He thought it was well written. He thought maybe it was a little too chick for him. Lee's protagonist in Groundswell, published in 2011, is a woman named Emma Guthrie. Just like Lee, Emma marries a celebrity, gets divorced, and regains her confidence by learning how to surf. HuffPost reports that the opening scene is set at the Mets Costume Institute Gala, which Lee and Joel used to attend together when they were still husband and wife. After Katie Lee and Billy Joel's wedding, they moved into a posh townhouse in the West Village of New York City. In the first two years of their marriage, they bought two other properties right by the beach, in Sagaponak, New York. Both of these beach properties were put on the market soon after their divorce in 2009, according to Variety. Lee then sold the West Village house for close to $12 million and went for a fresh start in the Hamptons. She continues to call the Hamptons her home, according to Closer Weekly. Lee, whose job has always revolved around creating and tasting recipes, knows that her job is full of temptation, telling health, There's food everywhere, and even off-camera, there's craft services where you can just walk by and grab a handful of chips. So how does Lee stay fit? Self-restraint, some discipline, and a ton of vegetables and fruits. Lee starts off her day with exercise. As she told Hamptons, it can be anything from a power walk with her pet dog Gus to an online fitness class. She prefers working out at home to hitting the gym. Obey, an app that offers live fitness classes that can be streamed from anywhere, was especially well-suited to her travel-heavy lifestyle, with Lee saying, I liked it so much, I invested in the company, actually. In 2018, she even transitioned from a workout subscriber to a trainer on Obey, announcing on Instagram that she was asked to teach a class. Despite her routine, Lee, like so many other people, regardless of fitness level or body shape, had to deal with insecurity, telling Health, I just try not to beat myself up. I always remind myself that I'm healthy and that's the most important thing. After her divorce, Lee started hosting a series called Beach Bites with Katie Lee. Lee's professional career was on track, so she didn't think much about her personal one, telling Health, I kinda thought I never want to get married again. But Cupid had different plans. Lee first met producer Ryan Beagle on the set of her beach-themed show in 2016. Though Lee was seeing Beagle for the first time, he already knew of her. She told Health, He told me later that he'd seen a TV segment of me promoting my last cookbook, and he was like, I'm gonna marry that girl. I was his crush. Lee and Beagle became friends and began to enjoy each other's company, as Lee explained, The more time I spent with him, the more I thought, this is the kind of life I want to live. Forget the love stuff. I really like him, too. After a romantic proposal in Paris, it only took a couple of months for the lovebirds to tie the knot at La Scolio on Italy's Amalfi Coast, the place where they fell in love. Lee and Beagle had planned to start a family soon after their wedding, with her admitting on Instagram, I naively thought it would be easy, but the reality was far from it. When it was clear that they wouldn't be able to have a baby the old-fashioned way, they moved on to fertility treatments. This unforeseen issue took Lee by surprise as she was scrupulous with her health and fitness routine. She wrote in an Instagram post, We were trying. I had to have surgery to correct a problem, got an infection, then I was so run down I got shingles. Finally, the couple decided to give in vitro fertilization a shot, but sadly, the first attempt was unsuccessful. While the whole process was emotionally draining, what also didn't help was the barrage of comments from fans. As Lee wrote in her Instagram post, I get comments saying I look like I've gained weight, so I must be pregnant. I finally responded that it's not okay to comment on a woman's body and you never know what someone is going through. 
the arduous journey fortunately had a happy ending. Lee announced her pregnancy in February 2020. For Lee and Beagle, it was one challenge after another. At the time they announced their pregnancy, the whole country went into lockdown because of the coronavirus pandemic. Lee told Babe Hatch, We're taking life one day at a time, and instead of worrying about the future, I'm focusing on what I can control in the present to keep us safe and my anxiety to a minimum. The lockdown, as it turned out, was also a blessing in disguise, as it gave both of them the opportunity to stay close and embrace the journey together. Lee continued to co-host The Kitchen from home as well. Luckily for her, she had her husband, a TV producer, right by her side to ensure the at-home shoot went smoothly. The show was quite an integral part for the couple through the lockdown. Their baby girl, Iris Marion Beagle, was born in September 2020, with Lee telling People, I just love being a mum. I knew that I was going to enjoy it, but I had no idea that I would do this much. My favorite thing is getting her up in the morning, going in there and seeing her little face smiling. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite celebrity chefs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.